Hi everyone, it's Grace with Uniquely Grace and welcome to my first color mixing video. Welcome to Uniquely Grace Designs. I am so excited to share this information with you. It is a passion of mine for color theory. One of the tools I use to help plan out my color mixing is a color wheel. This chart is an amazing tool. There's two sides to it. There's a lot of different ones. This one's specifically for color mixing for paints. You can get anything that's labeled for acrylics or washes. Most colors mix the same no matter what paint it is. So you can go ahead and choose one for the art industry and we'll use this one for chalk paint. So today we're going to be mixing one of my favorite new colors. I've been utilizing it in my home and I absolutely love this color. The color is a light sage green. And this color I have played around with a few different times on this color card that I've created. These are my little codes for my recipes and I'll share with you how I built that later. So I went through a couple of my um, color wheels and my color samples from different companies and I couldn't find the right color and it happens all the time. So I am showing you right now, this is Pure and Original, one of my favorite brand companies. And the Poetic Blue, this one right here, and this Silver Clay are going to be the two colors that I really wish were mixed. I don't happen to have those on hand, but what I do have are some Tarabella Paints and Finishes products. And those products are, um, I have available, so I'm gonna try and mix that today. So I went through my Fusion paint fan and I found a color I have a little sample of, which is this one, and it's just too blue. And that's the French eggshell. It's a gorgeous color, but not what I need. I want something more green. So I found these two. This is Brook and uh, Ingle Nook. And these two colors are very similar to what I look, I'm looking for but not quite. So my final color is this one on the very end over here. And it's just not quite the right shade. Mine's a little lighter. I think I even might want it to go a little lighter than that. So having that um, is not an option either. And I don't happen to have these colors to mix with white in, in stock as well. Having color fans like this and color samples like this Pure and Original chart are both great ways to have color samples that you can mix your own other brands too if you don't have these ones on hand. So let's get started. Today we're going to create a beautiful light sage gray. Here I have all of my measurements marked down and the brand name that I'm going to be using. I can use any of the measurements on the side of this cup, but today I'm actually going to be using my spoons. First we're going to start with a fresh cream. I have 10 parts of this beautifully calm, subtle, off-white called Fresh Cream by Terabella Paints and Finishes. We're going to put in 10 portions or parts of the fresh cream. I'm using my larger spoon which equivalents to two of those portions, so you'll see me only put in five total spoonfuls. To calculate this, calculate the square footage of the furniture piece you need to cover, times it by how many coats you will need, and I always add 20%. Then take that number and compare it to your paint manufacturer's coverage rate, and it will determine how much paint you're actually going to need. I will share the calculation equation in the description below. Now I'm adding this beautiful color called Waterfall in three parts to the mix. This Waterfall color is a stunning grayish blue color that is also by Terabella. I tend to mix only the same brands together at any point in time. I don't intermix brands. Now I'm adding this lovely crushed olive. Doesn't this look like you just pulled it right out of the jar and smashed it up into some paint? It's a stunning color and absolutely beautiful in furniture on its own, but today it's just gonna be in my mix to add that greenish hue. In between colors, I do take my wipey and clean off my hands and my spoon to make sure I do not contaminate the next color before dipping it in. Next up is Cloudy Skies. Now this is like a true medium gray, absolutely stunning. Look how these blend together. Don't they just complement each other already? And then when you mix them, they turn out to be this beautiful light sage gray. 
and then you mix some more. I'm telling you, you gotta scrape the sides, scrape the bottom, mix it, and when you think you're done, mix it some more. You don't have a shaker to mix this up like at Lowe's. And now it's time to test it. I'm putting one coat on this board. I'm gonna let it dry and put a second coat on and then compare it to the swatch and recipe I had before. And look, it matches. How did you like that video? I love color mixing. It's one of my favorite things to do and it's so much easier than people actually think it is. I'm gonna share with you a few extra tips and I want to go over my card you've been seeing throughout this video. This is literally on a piece of junk mail. I actually repurpose this all the time. So what I wanna show you how to do today is as I created the different shades before I settled on one I enjoyed and I loved, I actually wrote down the recipe for every one of those. The reason is, so in the future, if a client or if I need another, another grayish green color, I can reference this card and see how close I can come to what I might need. I may need something a little bit more blue or I might need something a little bit darker. It doesn't matter, but in the future I can save time because I already have the recipes written down from some experiments I've done before. All right, so that's tip number one. Tip number two, it's just something you need to know about color mixing. It is impossible to mix the exact same color twice. Impossible. So what I want you to know is that always add that 20% like I mentioned earlier in this video. That 20% will give you a great buffer for if you need color touch-ups or anything like that later on. You've got a little bit saved. Number three is just have fun with it. Color mixing can be an, an actually a relaxing thing instead of stressful. It is so much easier than people think it is. Make sure you give my video a thumbs up and subscribe and hit the bell and like all. And the reason is is because I'm gonna come out with some great videos that you're gonna wanna see. Whether it's furniture refinishing, DIY home decor, home decorating. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Remember, you got this and I got you.